I'm Josh Friedman, uh, director of the International Program. I'm Stephanie Block. I'm the program manager for the International Program. Uh, the first few months uh, can be rather difficult in terms of adjustment if you come from a really different culture. I had difficulty uh, figuring out the avenues and the streets. Most of the time, with the minute you get out of the subway, you don't know what's east, what's west. So I was walking sometimes for 20 minutes and I figured out I was going the wrong way and coming back. Sometimes instead of going uptown, I was going downtown. The hardest part was finding a house. Almost two weeks I wasn't, uh, I was not in a in, a, in, a, in a, a decent place, you know. It was difficult, but later on, we started, when we started the school, the administration was very fast to get me a place to sleep. And once I was there, I slept the whole day. It was so nice. Immediately, it gets really cold. And uh, if you don't come from a cold country, that really feels terrible. Then when you think you're getting on your feet, you start realizing that none of your teachers understand your English. I come from a country where English is not really widely spoken and I haven't spoken English uh, in daily life. My English is still not very good, but uh, it was a shock therapy going and doing recording everywhere, so now I think I have improved. For me, I went to Starbucks and they have this crazy names for the coffee that they have, grande, tall, whatever, and I couldn't order coffee. And I thought to myself, if I cannot order coffee, how can I make it at the top journalism school in the world? The hardest thing for me was probably RW1. It was just, I'd never, uh, I'd never gone, I was in South Bronx, I'd never reported in a ghetto before, and it was an interesting experience. Here is, it's very difficult to get people to talk to you. They just say, please leave me a message, even if the person is the, in, in a room next to you. It's, it's very hard to contact people here. So how does here. that make you feel? It makes me feel really bad. In other countries, you call the person, when you say, I'm a journalist, he's happy to talk to you. He says, come over. Because I went to some place, of like some part of Manhattan where everyone spoke Spanish and I didn't know a word of that language so it was hard but uh, yeah but you know somehow you just overcome the difficulties. And what's your but by the second semester generally I think the international students start catching up and often exceed the American students. I'm really happy that I met wonderful people here. These are American students or international students. I was calling my dad and saying, look, I've been to so many schools, but I've only been in Colombia for one year, but this is my favorite school. I really like the people. It's like one happy family, especially your workshop class, your RW1 class. Yeah. I think all the people I met here from all the countries around the world, and this city, of course, is great uh, if you want to be in touch with Anything you like, if you have, if you like movies, if you like theater, whatever, this is the right place to be. There's so many different communities here. It's, you, you have the world at your fingertips. That's pretty much it. That's very true. New York has this specialty. People will fall in love with New York. They come from different places of the states or different parts of the world, and they say, that's it, I'm going to stay here. I am one of those. Yes. Do not fall in love with an American. It is very difficult. Unless you want a green card. <laughs> Sorry. No, I, no, I, I agree with her. <laughs> and also, I think people should try to make some American friends who can, who can both understand them and who know the culture here. It's just like from the starting, you just have to be courageous enough. And at the end of the day, we are able to make it. We survived. <laughs> cool. Try out new things because there's so much fun in trying out things that you haven't done before in uh, at the J school. They're too serious. No. Yes, you know, this is, is becoming too serious. Nobody's going to watch us. <laughs> no, they are going to watch because we survived. It, right? it looks as it looks welcome, as, welcome as if we to had the a journalism script. school. Please come to the journalism no, school. No, you can make your dreams come true. That's it. So cheers to you for getting in. Yes. And we're looking forward to seeing you working with you, and uh, the champagne will push it off toward the end of the, the semester. <laughs>